exhausted and depleted trying to give ourselves to people, place, and things that are not serving us and that are not uplifting us. And that's why we'll end up exhausted. So we have to seek rest. We have to take a break from some things. If you're working a job right now and you feel like you just can't catch a break, you have to recognize that you have to seek God for that rest and God will provide that rest where rest is due in all things in the name of Jesus. Know that no weapon that's formed against your life will prosper. Any tongue that shall rise that tongue in judgment against you that shall be condemned as says Isaiah 54, 17. No weapons that is formed against your life will prosper. Continue to seek God and continue to draw near to God in all things and God will continue to add all things on you in the name of Jesus. Know that you are wanted. Know that you are gifted. Know that you are needed. And know that you are special. And God loves you. And God is going to grant you all the desires of your heart. All the desires of your heart really is already done. But do you recognize that it's already done? You recognize that God has already moved on your behalf and done what he said he's going to do. Because for God so loved the world that he gave his one and only begotten son. And for those that believe in him, they shall not perish, but they shall have everlasting life. John three sixteen. God wants to give you everlasting joy. He does not want you to be ashamed of what you have been through. He wants you to let go of that shame, that guilt, that doubt, that worry, that fear anything that's not of you because that's what's depleting you and that's what's draining your energy you have to protect your energy and protect your peace and all things because if you're not protecting you will protect your peace and protect your energy then you'll be drained and you'll be depleted and you won't be able to get done what you need to get done and you'll feel like you want to end your life or you'll feel like you want to self-destruct and that's where the enemy wants you to be at so you cannot give the enemy what the enemy wants any longer you have to know that god will add things on to you but you got to continue to seek first the kingdom is righteous and know that everything will be added on to you but you got to continue to seek god and continue to draw near to God and know that God will do everything that he says he's going to do because really it's already done but you got to recognize that you need to seek rest and seek what is needed from God and God will provide your priorities onto you first in the name of Jesus he may not always give you what you want but he will make sure you always have what you need in the name of Jesus right on time but you have to trust the Lord with all thy heart and lean on all thy own understand but you have to lean on here that says in Proverbs 3 5 so you have to lean on God and you have to trust in God to do what God has said he's going to do because if he said he's going to do it heaven and earth shall pass away but my word shall not turn on to me boy luke 21 33 if he said he's gonna do it then it has to come to pass this too shall pass says the lord hard times ever last says the lord recognize you may feel like you're going through a struggle right now or you may be suffering right now or you may feel like you're in a love pla low place right now or you may feel like you're depleted or you're drained or you don't have the resources you don't have the tools that you used to have in the past you may not have the same finances that you had in the past you might not have the same love that you had in the past you may not have some of these things that you used to have but recognize that god is gonna add it back onto you he's gonna restore it onto you double for your trouble double for what you have been through but you got to continue to draw near to god so that god can draw near to you and know that everything is working out of your favor and know that you are able but you have to believe and you'll receive that it says in matthew 7 believe and you receive and believe and you will achieve you will achieve everything that god has for you recognize that this is a marathon and not a race right marathon and not a race right but you're gonna make it to that finish line in the name of jesus you may not you feel me you locked into god you gotta recognize you and god are locked in you are connected to the source in the name of jesus so even if you feel low right now even if you feel like you're in that low place Take a minute and look yourself in the mirror and recognize that you don't look like nothing you've been through. You don't look like nothing you've been through because that's the power of God. That's the power of the Holy Spirit that abides within you recognize when God elevates your life, you got to elevate your mentality. You got to know that God is going to do exactly what he says he's going to do, but you have to let go and let God mean it. You have to cast your burdens onto the Lord, meaning you can't hold on to what's not serving you in this season of your life. You have to let go of the past and recognize that God wants to bring you more. God wants to bring you to a season anew. God wants to bless you abundantly. God wants to take you take you to where he needs you to be. God needs you to relocate. God needs you to do certain things, but you have to be obedient. Obedience is much more proud than sacrifice. You also have to be disciplined. You have to be willing to sit down and hear what God is saying to you. Stop being around too many people because when you're around too many people it's hard for you to hear from God. Recognize that bad company corrupts good character. That bad company will corrupt your good character. You have to let go in order to grow. Let go of what's not serving you in order to grow. Cast your burdens onto the Lord. If God told you that you can cast every burden onto him, then why would you not cast it onto him? Know that you have the full body armor of God on as it says Ephesians 6-10. through 10. You have the full body armor of God on so recognize when you throw a rock at the enemy, the enemy will throw a brick back at you but you gotta keep going. You gotta keep Keep persevering. You got to keep living your life for you because this is your life. This is your world and we live in your world. You take control of how everything goes on and you narrate what goes on in your life, right? So stand your ground when attacks try to come against your life because the attacks of the enemy will not prevail. They will not prevail over your life. You are the head and not the tail in the name of Jesus. Recognize you are above, not below. Let, recognize that you are the lender and not the borrower in the name of Jesus. God is putting you up high, but you have to recognize what God is doing in the season of your life. You got to sit down and be willing to listen to what God is telling you. Understand on God God's understanding. Stop trying to lean on your understanding. Don't lean on man's understanding. Lean on God's understanding. You have to trust the Lord with all thy heart and lean on thy own understanding. All thy heart. You have to be all the way in with God. You can't be halfway in and halfway out. You got to be all the way in with God. You have to give God your all so that God can give he, so that he can give his all to you in the name of Jesus. Recognize it says in uh, Romans 8.31. 
If God be for us, who can be against us? God is for us. It don't say God is for one. God is for two. God is for three. It don't give you no number because God is for us. He's for us all. He's with us all. And you can do all things through Christ who strengthens you. But you have to be for you as well. And you got to push for you as well. Faith without works is dead. You have to put in that work and have the faith. Have the faith in things that we cannot see. As Hebrews 11 once said, know that everything is working out in your favor. You are able. You are a conqueror. You are a warrior. You are a leader. You are anointed. And you are blessed. But you have to remember who you are and recognize that you got to stand your ground. Know that everything think it's work out of your favor because God is doing it for you in the season of your life but you got to be listening and you got to be paying attention and you got to draw near to God and keep seeking God first in all things and recognize no matter what happens God is going to answer you he always answers you he's talking to you 24 7 but are you listening recognize if you're going through a lot of spiritual attacks if you have a lot of spiritual warfare and things in that manner over your life you have to recognize that you're going to be you you feel me it's going to be hard for you to hear from God when you're being attacked left and right but recognize the attacks will not prevail God God will begin to show you signs in the universe so you have to be looking to see what God is showing you because you may not be able to hear from him because you have these attacks that does not mean that God has stopped speaking to you but God knows what people are doing behind your back recognize that God protects us from things seen and unseen so it's not rejection it's redirection it's not rejection it's re just protection it's not denial it's just delay you have to let go and let God and recognize that God wants to do more for you but you have to lean out on your own understanding and you have to recognize for his ways are higher than our ways for his thoughts are higher than our thoughts for the heavens are above the earth isaiah 55 recognize that god thoughts are not our thoughts he don't move like man he don't think like man he is not man so stop believing no man and stop looking at man and answer your problems and solve your problems cast your burdens onto the lord give it over to god so that god can come in and be god once you give your problems and your burdens and whatever it is you hold on to over to the lord then he will be able to free you from whatever that is but you have to free yourself as well but you have to free yourself first in your mind your body and your soul you have to take care of your health health is wealth you have to take care of your health mental health spiritual health physical health emotional health they say only the strong survive that means mentally spiritually physically and emotionally right only the strong survive in every area only the strong survive finances have nothing to do with it only the strong survive make sure that you stand tall and you stand your ground and you recognize what god is telling you in the season of your life and you listen and you know who you are and you know your worth and add text you continue to focus on you until the focus is on you stop comparing yourself to other people because comparison is a deep of joy do not compare yourself to anybody in this season of your life pay attention to god and keep seeking god you may have fell down but it's all about getting back up see in scriptures it says we all fall short of the glory of the lord meaning we all fall short we all make mistakes we all do things that we should do we all say things that we shouldn't say we all indulge and put ourselves to predicaments that we should not be placing ourselves into but we have to ask the lord for his forgiveness he always pours out his forgiveness his love his mercy his grace his power his wisdom everything onto us all the time god is not mad at you for what you have done that's in the past let it go and give it over to god so that god can handle that for you so that god can free you but you have to free yourself up as well in the name of jesus you have to let go and let god right now in this present moment let go in order to grow if you do not let go i don't know who i'm talking to if you do not let go of that heartbreak i know it hurts it's, it's no time period on healing right it's no time period on healing right but you gotta let that go so that you can grow you gotta start moving towards the healing process you gotta start moving and indulging into what's gonna serve you and what's gonna push you to do better and what's gonna prosper you you have to let go of that heartbreak you have to let go of that trauma because that trauma love that drama you have to let these things go so that you can grow and god wants to grow you but you got to recognize you got to stand for something and don't fall for anything one more time stand for something and don't fall for anything stand your ground and know that the attacks of enemy will not prevail yes thank you for that comment you got to surrender for that breakthrough for that blessing for whatever is abides within you that power to see things that you haven't seen to do things that you haven't done to have god add more onto your life to have god uplift you to have god bring you to the next season of your life to have god bring you to new levels every new level there'll be a new devil but you'll be, a, be able to conquer those new devils on these new levels to be able to have all that god has for you you need to surrender you need to let go and let god and you need to thank god for what he has done and what he will do because god has been way too good for you to you so thank him for what he has done and thank him for what he's getting ready to do in your life because he's getting ready to do and seely and abundantly all things because god is a god of miracles signs and wonders god is an intentional god he does everything with intent everything happens for a reason nothing happens by coincidence so if something happened in your life and you ran across somebody in your life if you've done some things in your life it had to happen because it built you for who you are today so thank those people thank those places and thank those things that have done you wrong and that left you for dead it had to happen not for you to suffer but so that god can prevail you so that god can put you upon 
high. Keep pushing towards the mark of the high calling and do not self-destruct. See, the enemy wants you to self-destruct. The enemy wants to deceive you in your mind first, but he also wants to attack your body and your spirit as well. But he wants to get to your mind first. If the enemy can get into your mind and make you think that you are insane, insanity, the definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over and over again and expecting different results. You are not insane. Do not allow the enemy to tell you things that are not true. Do not allow deceptions to trick you and fool you and to knock you off of what God has for you. You have to keep focusing on God because if you look away from God, you will not receive what God has for you. You got to recognize the enemy wants to steal, kill, destroy. The enemy is just as strategic, right? He wants to seek whom he may devour. The enemy wants to devour you. He wants to take you out. He wants you to quit. He wants you to give up. He wants you to kill yourself. He wants, oh, kill yourself, somebody. I don't know who I'm talking to. You cannot die. You shall not die for you see promises of the Lord fulfilled of your life. You got to stand your ground know that God is going to do it for you. But the attacks of the enemy over your life will prevail. Yes, weapons are going to form. Things are going to come against you, but they will not prosper. No weapon that's formed against thee shall prosper. Any time that shall rise and tug of judgment against thee, thou shalt be condemned. Isaiah 15, verse 17. Yes, things are going to come up against you, but it shall not prosper over your life. You are more than a conqueror. You are a warrior. You are a fighter. You got to keep fighting for your life because this is spiritual warfare that we are in. This is a war. You got to fight for your life. It's not a physical fight, but you got to fight in the spirit. You got to recognize in Ephesians 6, it says, but we are not just battling against flesh and blood, but we're battling against spiritual wickedness, evil principalities, and high places. Recognize it's not people you up against. Uh-uh. You ain't fighting physically against people. No, uh-uh. I know how you like to touch. You're not fighting against people. It's spirits. You got to protect your inner man, protect your spirit, and recognize that God wants you to know that he is with you in all things and that he will never lead over take you. I know people have left you. I know people have turned against you. I know you've been left for dead. I know you've been down. I know you've been out. I know you probably got depression right now. I don't know who I'm talking to. You probably got anxiety, fear, doubt, worry. You probably dealing with some traumatic uh, situation in your life. You might have just gotten a car today. I don't know who I'm talking to. You might be in the hospital right now watching me in jail right now. Just got out of jail. I don't know where you at in the world right now or where you come from or what you have done or how old you are. I don't know who I'm talking to but you got to know that God is with you right now in this present moment. And he wants you to know that it's okay. It's okay, my daughter. It's okay, my son. Yes, you have done some things and said some things that you are not proud of. Yes, you may have thought that I have left you. Yes, you may have taken me for granted. But recognize that Paul said that God never treats us how our sins deserve. God never treats us how our sins deserve. If God treated us how our sins deserve, we would have been dead by now. But he kept us alive because still we rise because God is the God of the living. God is the God of the living and not of the dead. That's his scriptures. One more time. God is the God of the living and not of the dead. You have to take control of your life or your life will control you. You have to take control of your emotions or your emotions will control you. Stand your ground and recognize that you serve a God that is a man of war. He said, I am a man of war. He said that he will move mountains for you. He will do exceedingly and abundantly all things in your life. Not one two, three things, not four, five, six things, all things in your life. He's going to continue to add all things onto you because his eye is on you. You are God's prized possession. But do you know that? Do you know who you are? Are you secure with yourself? You got to be secure with yourself. Recognize people going to talk about you rather than rich or poor. People going to talk rather than good or bad. People are critics. You are going to get criticized for anything that you do. You can be the best person in the world. You can be the most positive person in the world. You don't have to have no evil link, no jealousy, hate, none of that in your body and people still won't treat you bad and try to please you. You're not looking for trouble, but yet trouble still finds you. Recognize that the enemy wants to kill you. The enemy. One thing about the enemy is that he will never be done with the attack that he has over your life. But recognize they can take everything away from you. They out here having an identity crisis. Oh, in the name of Jesus. They, got, they out here having an identity crisis. They can take everything away from you. They can take your, They can take the way you walk, the way you talk, the way you move. They can take the way you dress. But a couple things that they cannot take away from you is that God that you serve. A couple things that they cannot take away from you is that spirit, that inner man. So you have to protect what's on the inside of you because the power abides within you. It's in you and not on you. You are more powerful than you think. You are more powerful than you know. The power abides within you. Be not conform to the ways of this world, but instead conform to the new your mind. Romans 12 2. Recognize the God that you serve right now in this present moment. And recognize that you are able and you are not unstable. You don't belong in that low place. You never belong in that low place. You have to get up. You got to get out of bed. Oh, I don't know what I'm talking to. You got to get out of bed. You got to stop worrying. That's not adding years onto your life. You got to stop crying at some point because you got to let go and cast your verse onto the God, onto God so that he can handle it for you. Let him come in and handle it for you. I don't know what you're going through right now. I don't know what I'm talking to right now. Somebody got a sick family member right now. Somebody got somebody that's sick. Somebody is sick watching me right now, name of Jesus. But recognize that God's report is not the dark's report. One more time. God's report is not the dark's report. So God is the author and the finisher. God has the final say. So 
over your life. So recognize you got to pray. Pray without season and know that God is with you and God will never leave nor forsake you. He's with you in all things. You serve a mighty God. All good things work out for the good of the Lord, Lord that are called according to his purpose. Romans 8, 28. Everything is working out in your favor. You are able. You are a conqueror. You are a warrior. You are a leader. You got this. Keep fighting for your life and take care of you and protect your energy. No matter what things may look like, God will always make a way when you do not see a way. No matter what you go through, although you may have been afflicted, ooh, somebody, although you may have been afflicted, God is with you in the name of Jesus. God is present right now. He wants you to know he is with you. He has not left you. He will never leave nor forsake you. In the name of Jesus, somebody recognize the God you serve. I plead the blood of Jesus over your life and know that everything is working out in your favor and know that you are able and that you are a conqueror and that no nothing can stop you and nothing can come against you. Nothing can bring you down no matter what you go through. God said, I shall not suffer a wish to live. No witchcraft, no spells, no evil, none of that. The attacks of enemy will not prevail. The pits that the people dug for you, they're going to fall right into. God's going to continue to bless you all in the hate of face. He's going to continue to uplift you all in the hate of face. I don't know what they have done to you and what they have tried to do against you, but no matter what, the plots of the enemy will fail. They will not prevail over your life no matter what. God is a God of vengeance. God said, and this is mine, Psalm 94, so let go and let God so that God can handle everything that you're going through right now. Do not try to seek revenge. Do not try to handle things on your own without God. God never said you had to do it alone because you are never truly alone. I don't know who I'm talking to. You are not lonely. You are never truly alone. You are not lonely. You are not alone. You are not lonely in the name of Jesus. You do not belong in that low place. You might have God broken up when you might have God left. You might have just gotten divorced. I don't know who I'm talking to. You might have just, oh, I don't know what just happened to you, but you got to know better and know better and do better. Continue to get that wisdom which is how you use knowledge. The best revenge, the best revenge you, that you should be seeking is your paper, is your business, is your bag, whatever it is that's going to boss you up, right? Taking care of your appearance. God never said neglect you. God never said stop taking care of you. God never said leave you for dead. I know they left you for dead, but don't leave you for dead. Don't let go of you. You cannot let go of you. Do not neglect you in this present moment. Take care of you in this present moment. Do not let go of you. Stand for something. Don't fall for anything. Stop allowing the enemy to take anything else from you. The enemy has taken enough from you in the name of Jesus. Ooh, I feel the power of the Holy Spirit. The enemy has taken too much from you. No more. You should be sick and tired of being sick and tired. You got to get to the point of no return. The point of no return means the point of where you will not go back to how things used to be. You will not go back unless you choose to go back. Recognize. Lost wife went back and she turned your pillar of salt. You cannot go back. You got to get to the point of no return. The point where you recognize that everything is going to be made new in your life. But you got to know better and do better. And you got to know that the enemy cannot deceive you into thinking anything unless you allow him in. Do not allow the enemy in no more. You should be sick and tired of being sick and tired. You had enough. You got to let go. You got to surrender. You have to surrender in this present moment because that's the only way to get what God has for you. You have to take your hands off of that hot stove or that fire is going to burn you. You have to stop indulging with snakes. You got to cut your ground slow so that you can see the snakes or the snakes are going to continue to bite you in the name of Jesus. You're going to continue to fall down. No, you got to get back up in this season. You got to stand up and stand tall. Be a giant. Be a leader. You are a leader. You are a conqueror. In the name of Jesus, somebody in the name of Jesus, you are a conqueror. You got this in the name of Jesus. You are strong. You got to be strong to be alone. You are strong. Lions hunt alone. Hyenas hunt in packs. You are a lion hunt alone. Eagles. Eagles are the birds that fly the highest. Be eagles and fly high. Fly high and spread your wings and fly away. And do not go back to that low place. Do not go back to where they had left you at. When they look back, you will never be where they left you at. One more time. When they look back on you, you will never be where they left you at. And the only time you should look back. Um, the only time you should look back is to see how far you made it. That's the only time you should look back. Don't look back. Don't go back. You can't go back. No more. When God elevates your life, mm, in the name of Jesus, when God elevates your life, you need to elevate your mentality. Change your mind and recognize where God has you at right now in this present moment is where he needs you at right now in this present moment. One more time. Where God has you at in this present moment is where he needs you at. Keep moving forward. You can't go back. You can't be driving your car, right, and looking back while you're driving the whole time. No. That's why you got this big this big window at the front because you need to be looking straight, right? You need to be driving straight. You can't go back. No going back. Drive straight. Go straight. All gas, no brakes. Do the dash. Go. Do not come back to that low place. Do not level down. It's levels to this. You're on a new level. Conquer these new devils on these new levels in the name of Jesus. Continue to do what you got to do and take care of you. Do not neglect you in this present moment in the name of Jesus. Love you. Be secure within you. Know your worth in all things and all things shall be added unto you in the name of Jesus because you are God's child. Mm. 
You are God's child in the name of Jesus. That makes you royalty. That makes you a leader. You don't know who you are, somebody. You don't recognize your power. Ask God to show you how he sees you because God perceives you in a bigger light. God sees you in a bigger light. God sees you up on high. But do you see you up on high? Do you know who you are? Walk into rooms with confidence and not arrogance and knowing that you are God's child. Stop giving your life for insecure people. Stop giving your life for people that feel something way about you. Stop giving your life for people that's not on your level. New levels, new devils. They not on your level. Oh, well. The attack in me will not prevail. Everybody is not pleasing God like you. Everybody not out here all what you own. Everybody not own, own business. Everybody not stand for something, not fall for anything. A lot of people are out here for selfish gain. A lot of people are out here for um pulling you down like crabs in a bucket. But no more, no more. You cannot allow the enemy to use you no more and play with you no more. No more is 2022. Tell them to stop playing with you all 2022. Stop playing with you because this is your winning season. This is your year. This is the month. Oh my God, in the name of Jesus, somebody's month right now. God seen that you was ruler over a few things in the name of Jesus. Now he's getting ready to make you ruler over many. God's getting ready to open up a window in heaven and pour out blessings that you won't have room enough to receive. In the name of Jesus, somebody recognize God sees you. He hears your prayers, but are you praying and believing in your prayers? Do you know that he's answering your prayers? Do you know that he's with you in all things? Do you know that he's never left nor forsake you? Do you know these things or did you forget? Did you forget that God is with you? God is for you no matter what. I don't care who left you, but dead. I know you got bullied. Ooh, I know you got spit on. Ooh, I know you got left. Ooh, I know you got cheated on. Ooh, I know you got lied to. All that had to happen. It had to happen to build you for who you are today. So let go of that old version of you because you are made new in God, through God, and with God. That's the power of God on your side. Look at where you are at right now in this present moment. You are exactly where God wants you to be. So be still and know that I am God, says the Lord. Be still and know that I am God, says the Lord. Be still. Don't move. Sit down. Relax and let God come in and be God. I don't know what you have done and how old you are but let god come in and be god you are not too old i hear that you're not too old i don't know i'm talking to i heard that you are not too old it don't matter how old you are recognize there's a difference between um old getting old and maturing right Every, everybody getting old everybody 20 30 40 50 right we getting oh we all have the age right but everybody not maturing everybody not elevating their mindset everybody not elevating their mentality recognize you gotta mature you gotta get that wisdom which is how you use knowledge it don't matter how old you are it don't matter what you have done and what you will do we all fall short of the glory of the lord we all got secrets that we ain't saying one more time we all got secrets that we ain't saying we all have skeletons in our closet nobody nobody got no room to be judging you so if they judge you let god handle that judge not or you shall be judged yes you've done some things you said some things you've been doing some things we all make mistakes maybe just do not allow that to keep you down do not allow that to hold you back let it go and let god because you got to recognize that god is with you no matter what no matter what you are special no matter what you are perfect in god eyes and you may not be perfect in the world eyes but you are worth it in the world eyes but it don't matter man felt that shit don't matter in matthew 6 it says that it says that you shall not seek to validate uh validation from men no don't seek that from men the only validation you needed was the fact that you woke up this morning the only validation that you needed was the fact that god is with you in the name of jesus god woke you up that was validation you have a purpose a vision a dream a goal an admiration you have things that you need to be doing here so stand your ground don't let nobody overtake you and take over your life control your life and take take control of what you got going on control what you can't control stop trying to save people that don't want to be saved stop trying to change people that don't want to be changed i've been saying this all week control you and that's all you can do is control you in the name of jesus recognize that god has you you are a force to be reckoned with one more time let me tell you who you are just in case you forgot you are a force to be reckoned with and if anybody loses it's not gonna be you one more time if anybody loses it's not gonna be you in the name of jesus it's still you rise just like jesus did on third day jesus rose on the third day they thought they left jesus for dead they thought they left you for dead they're gonna have to come look again because still you rise in the name of jesus god allowed them to think that you was dead god allowed them to think that you was dead because god wants you to recognize that you are going to continue to rise as long as you draw near to him as long as you pray to him as long as you seek him in all things in jesus my name i love you and so does god you stay up and you stay encouraged and you know who you are you know your worth and add text you know that you are able and that you are stable and that you do not belong in that little place that they tried to leave you and that they tried to stop you in and that they tried to leave you for dead in, in jesus name in jesus name i love you and so does god you stay blessed and you know that you are blessed recognize what you have right now is enough you are blessed Reign with God in this season of your life. You are blessed. You are not stressed. You are not depressed. You are blessed. Sorry, y'all.
All the links is in my bio. Zaria Troy YouTube. Zaria Troy on here. Ooh, that's the power of the Holy Spirit. Thank you, Father. Zaria Troy on here. Zaria Troy on YouTube. Follow me. Follow me. Subscribe. Follow me on Instagram. Zaria Troy. Who that took all? Oh, oh my gosh, that took a lot. <laughs> So a seed into this word if you feel led. So 11 for new beginnings or 22 double for your trouble. So whatever you feel led to give into this word. 11 or 22 or whatever you feel led to give. My cash app is money symbol. Z-A-R-I-A-T-R-O-I -I number 7. It's on this video and it's also in my bio as well if you can't find it. And they're going to drop it in the comments for you. What you reap is what you sow. What you put out is what you get back. I always pray over y'all seeds. And know that God is with you and continue to pray. And don't underestimate the power of prayers. Know that your prayers are being heard. And know that you are able and you do not belong where they try to leave you at. You are who God says you are, not who they told you who you are. You are who God says you are. And if God told you something, God meant that. God stands on his word. God is not a man to lie. The devil is a lie. The devil wants to deceive you into thinking that you haven't won. You already won. You already won. You a superstar. You already won. You ain't at a loss. You ain't at a loss. You might, you might, you might be broke right now. You might have lost the money that you had. Okay. Okay, they might have took that. Okay, took. Okay, your happiness. You may not. You may feel like you sad or depressed right now. Okay, took again. Um, you gotta recognize nobody can take nothing away from you unless you give it. Stop giving the consent to, for things to get taken away because God will always restore things onto you. Took. That's why I did this because you never at a loss. God is always with you. If it happened, God allowed it to happen. Do not allow the enemy to think that you are um at a loss of something. You're gonna always get things restored onto you. You don't know how you're gonna pay that rent, that car note, that phone bill, whatever it is that you got going on. You don't know how you're gonna provide for your family, how you're gonna get food in the kitchen. You don't know where you're gonna sleep at. So you may be homeless right now. You don't know where you're gonna eat next. You may be homeless right now, right? But God has you going through that because God wants to show you your strength. God wants to show you what's abides within you, that power that's abides within you. God will always bring you through. If God brought you to, then God will bring you through. You got to be tested for you. I bless you. have to go through it in order to get to it. If God brought you to, then God's going to bring you through. He's going to always bring you through. He ain't left you. He ain't forgot about you. His eyes on you. You are God's prized possession. Did you forget who you are? Did you forget that you are a star? Did you forget that you're number one? Did you forget that the last shall be first and the first shall be last? You was already first, but they put you last. They, 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 they tried to put you in that little box. They knew your potential before you did. They see your potential, but do you see your potential? They knew who you were, but do you know who you are now? Know who you are and don't let nobody deceive you no more. They didn't tell you who you were. They wanted you to not recognize who you were because they wanted to keep you in that little place with them. They thought you belonged down there with them. You never belonged down there with them. And the only reason they'll continue to try to pull you down is because they're already down there. They're not above you. Shine by like the sun. Nobody can go up and take the sun down. They just shine bright like the sun and know who you are in all things and know that God is with you in all things you have the power that abides within you you are a leader you are not a follower you was never a follower they tried to make you that because they wanted you to not know who you were you are powerful no matter what love your enemies and pray for those who persecute you Matthew 5 44 love and pray for people because that shows your power that shows what abides within you so love and pray for people Okay, cool. But recognize God's going to add more to you because God sees what's on the inside of you. It don't matter what they have going on, what they did. It's because they, they need hurt people, hurt people. Misery loves company. Do not give them no more of your company, no more of your power, no more of your attention, no more of your energy, no more of your time, no more of your grind, no more of your resources. Cut people off without an explanation because you've given enough with you, enough of you. And I never said nothing about second chances. Yes, you can give people a second chance, but recognize you got to watch how you mess with people now. You got to watch how you move around people now. You can't move the same. You can't talk the same and walk the same. Recognize if somebody showed you who they was the first time, believe them. If they showed you who they was oh believe them don't try to deceive yourself into thinking that they some they can be something else and they can be better stop falling in love with potential stop falling in love with what they could be or dilute making yourself in a delusion you only hurt yourself by trying to give too much of you don't overextend yourself to nobody that's not reciprocating your energy stop over extending yourself i don't care who it is family member friend boyfriend girlfriend ex don't overextend yourself to nobody if they not give you that same energy then let go and let god and take your hands off of that stove or that stove will continue to burn you stop playing with snakes and say snakes are gonna continue to bite you take your hands off the wheel when you was riding the bike as a kid you said you you said look mom look dad no hands look i can ride with no hands you need to let allow jesus to take the wheel like that let god be your navigation so that you can reach your final destination in the name of jesus God is going to turn your pain into champagne in the name of Jesus. Celebrate. Get ready because thank God for what he has done and what he will do in the name of Jesus. Prophetic word. God turn your pain into champagne in the name of Jesus.
Oh, I know they had your name and everything but a prayer, but that's okay. That's okay. God seen it. God was in rooms you were not in. He seen things that you didn't see. He heard conversations you didn't hear. God will always reveal and confirm to you who not for you all the time. God will always do it. And won't he, won't he, won't he do it? If you watch me right now, comment below. Won't he do it in the name of Jesus? Won't he do it? Won't he do it? I need that in the comments. I need that flooded in the comments. Won't he do it? In the name of Jesus, because he always do it. He always do it. What what ha, what what ha, what has he lied about to you? What have he done? Really, look at look over your life. Look over your life. Look at what you've been through. You don't think you've been through some crazy things that should have took you out? What hasn't he done? Won't he do it in the name of Jesus? I'll put the blood of Jesus over your life and you recognize that you are blessed and you are not stressed. And everything that God says is for you is just for you. Just for you. You are deserving of what God is doing in your life and what God has done and what he's getting ready to do. So thank him in advance because when praise go up, bless come down. One more time, when praise go up, bless come down because won't he do it in the name of Jesus? Won't he do it in Jesus' name? He gonna do it. He ain't a lie. He ain't lied to you yet. Why would he lie now? Why would he leave you now? He ain't left you yet. You still waking up. In the name of Jesus, one what he has for you because he's getting ready to add so much onto you. All the links is in my bio. My YouTube is Azaria Troy. Follow me if you're new here, please. I got to say please. Follow me if you're new here. Subscribe to my YouTube. Same name. I post all my lives or almost all my lives on YouTube. Instagram, same thing. So it's seen into this word if you feel led to. Money symbol Z-A-R-I-A-T-R-O-I number 7. So 11 or 22 or whatever you feel led to give into this word. And if you can't give, I still love you. It's okay. I still love you. Send me some roses on here. I love roses too, by the way. Thank y'all. Thank y'all for being here. I thank God for bringing y'all here as well. And know that everything is working out in your favor. I love y'all. And I thank y'all so, so, so much. And know that everything is going to be all right. You serve a God that can do all things. And, as he, and he will. And he will. Touch not my anointing and do my prophets no harm. They can't touch you and they can't harm you. You shall fear no evil. God has not given the spirit of fear, but the love, power, and the sound mind. 2 Timothy 1 7. You have love, power, and the sound mind. I thank y'all for the roses. I thank y'all. I thank y'all for the roses so much. That means a lot to me. Every day. Seek him every day. Your situation is getting better. God can change your life overnight. If you get before you get off here, let me tell you something. God can change your life overnight. Recognize the God that you serve. He can change your situation just like that. You go to sleep, go to sleep one way, then you down. You might be down, but you're not out, right? You go to sleep one day, you wake up the next day. Oh, he's gonna have way more for you. God has more in store. He can change your life just like this. And he will. You gotta keep seeking him. He can flip your situation. Don't give up. I see that comment. That's what somebody said in the comments. Thank y'all for commenting positivity in the comments. God sees all things, so he's going to reward you from that. So I said, they daughter's name is Zaria. God bless y'all. Moderators, yes. Thank y'all. God bless my moderators. I thank God for y'all for being here and for doing what y'all do as well. You struggle with addiction. You struggle. I see that comment that say I struggle with addiction. Let go and let God. Draw near to God. I struggled with addiction in my past. But what I had to do was I had to draw near to God. And God delivered me from that. So you just got to draw near to God. You know that God will bring you through. If he brought you to, he'll bring you through. Believe that you can get over this addiction. And know that the uh, the temptation is the opposite of righteous temptation. This temptation to do these drugs or do this alcohol or do this gambling or whatever it is that you're tempted to do. Whatever it is. When you do something for more than 21 days, it becomes a habit, right? It becomes an addiction, right? A Addictions are not easy to break. It's easier said than done, right? So I'm not just telling you to stop, right? What I'm telling you is to draw near to God and God can free you from anything. But you got to believe that you can be free. You can be. You are already free, though. You got to recognize you are already free. I meant to say it like that. You are all. You are free. You are free. He hates sin, but he loves the sinner. He loves you no matter what you have done and what you will do. Know that it's going to get better, but you got to trust in God. Because when... Um, and addiction begins to become a comfort for you. That's when it becomes a problem, right? So you got to recognize at, at the root that it is a problem, okay? 
But don't let nobody judge you for that. People gonna talk about you regardless. Like I said, they gonna try to judge you for that. But you don't. They not. They not saying what they done. Like I said, everybody got secrets that they ain't saying. But no matter what, draw near to God, and you he, you can be delivered from that. He delivered me from that. I don't even. You feel me? The enemy try to. And I'm not gonna lie. The enemy still try to attack me with my addiction to this day. I always tell y'all. I'm, I'm always open with y'all about that. But I always pray and I I give it over to God and I tell God this is not what I want for my life and things of that matter. Pray over yourself. Pray of yourself and don't feel bad and don't allow people to make you feel bad. Believe it or not, we all have something that we addicted to. It don't have to be drugs, but we are or alcohol or you feel me, but we all have something that we addicted to or have had something, right? Everybody, not one person. And you could be addicted to sugar and don't even know it. I'm addicted to God right now. <laughs> for the rest of my life, we all are addicted to God. God is a stalker for us, but we have to be stalkers for God as well. <laughs> for I know the plans that I have for you, says the Lord, plans to prosper you and not harm you, plans to give you hope in a future, Jeremiah 29 11. Recognize God is love. Love is patient. Love is kind. It is not envy. It is not boast. It is not proud. It is not arrogant. Recognize what love is and what love ain't. God is love and draw near to God. And know that I love you and so does God. You stay blessed. I love y'all. Stay up and stay encouraged and know that everything is going to be okay. It's going to be all right. I know it may not be easy, but God's going to make a way you do not see a way all the time. God sees you. And he knows what you need. And he knows what you want. And he will provide. He's going to provide for you. He needs you. And you need him. Thank y'all for y'all positive comments as well. I thank y'all for everything that y'all have done. You feel me? The positive comments for being here. For being you. Even if I don't know you personally, I thank you for what you have been through in your life. Because if you didn't go through what you've been through in your life, you wouldn't be who you are today. And you still here. So I thank you for still being here today. I thank you for still waking up and not allowing the enemy to take your life. Because the enemy takes, takes people's lives every day. People take their own lives due to deception. Due to thinking that there is no better due to thinking that God is not going to make a way but I thank you for still being here and not self-destructing self because I understand you, you feel me I, I know people that have taken their own lives but don't do it I don't know who I'm talking to God just told me to speak that to somebody God said don't do it don't do it I don't know who I'm talking to but I'm about to end the live stream don't do it you can be down today and your life can change tomorrow you never know. Don't do it. Let go and let God. It's okay. Surrender. Tell him I surrender. All right.